wig isn't glued down right now, so yeah. You see, it's not, it's not too bad of a lace. But. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a hair review and it's going to be on this wig that I have on right now. This wig is from Eunice. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if I still have that old video up. I have reviewed Eunice hair before. Um, I had a sewing with Eunice hair but I've never had a wig from them and that was even a long time ago when I had that sewing. This wig isn't glued down right now so yeah you see it's not, it's not too bad of a lace. I've had a I've had a hair from them, but I've never had a wig. So this is the first wig I've ever had from Eunice, and this is a sick a body wave wig. I'm gonna leave all the details on the screen somewhere because I don't have them remembered. I don't have the name of the wig remembered to the T because it's a long name. But this is a body wave wig. It is 16 inches stretched, 150 density, which I thought I ordered. I thought I ordered the highest density. Maybe 150 is the highest density, but I thought 180 would have been the highest. Well, maybe it was 150, but it's 150% density, 13 by four lace. Um, and I think that's it. I think I said all the details. So yeah, this is the hair. I've had it for about two weeks. I have washed it once. Usually I try not to review it until after I wash it because if I wash it and it just don't go back to being the same, then it's not good hair so um i washed it today i just did some flat iron curls i never do flat iron curls but this hair curls so nicely like the curls just it's like almost like butter honestly this is one wig i can say i probably have nothing negative to say about it actually i do have one negative thing the only negative thing i'll say about this hair and I'll say it at the beginning of the video is that the hair is not pre-plucked. I think they do advertise it as pre-plucked, but it is not pre-plucked at all. In my opinion, it needed a lot of plucking. It still needs a lot of plucking, but I just don't have time for all of that. So I've just plucked it just enough for me. But this wig definitely needed a lot of plucking. Um, the hairline was giving Elvis. It was like a full blown Elvis hairline. And I, that's not me so yeah i wouldn't say this hair is pre-plucked in the least bit but that's really my only that was really my only issue with it it doesn't shed like crazy or anything and honestly i, I spent a lot of time shopping for this hair to because i wanted the best deal and i'm tired of aliexpress because aliexpress wigs are really like you have them for a little bit a month and they all good and then they just start going downhill and then you throw in a wig away again and it's like i'm not gonna spend 80 plus 100 plus on a wig that is gonna just not hold it's not gonna last long so that's why i went to Eunice because i wanted to try a different site even though all the vendors may be the same i was like i could at least try something different um i don't really like it the only thing another thing that i might would change about this wig is the lace it goes back like this far i feel like it could go back just like a few inches further like if my part could maybe go back to like right here i don't know maybe that's too far back for a part but i like a far back part so that's another thing i probably would change about this hair um i don't know if it's true to length i don't know does that look like 16 inches to y'all looks like it to me honestly it could be more and the wig came with i think it came with a adjust an extra adjustable strap let me get the box it came with this thing i have it right here i'm not sure what this is i think it's just an elastic band it came with one of those oh i think it i think it might have came with a wig cap too it might have came with a wig cap too but it came in this box um the amount of time it took to get here i actually don't remember I feel like it maybe took a, like a week. It didn't take anything crazy long for me to have to remember how long it took to get here. It definitely wasn't no AliExpress three day type of thing. It wasn't that, but um, it definitely didn't take that long. And the cap is like normal cap construction if you wear wigs. There's a comb in the back. There's adjustable straps in the back. And there's like combs on the side, I think yeah there's a comb on the side it doesn't the one thing i do like is it doesn't have those weird combs like in the middle behind the lace i don't like that like why would i need a comb right here but it has like 
two on the side and then one in the back um and then adjustable straps one thing i will say about the adjustable straps now and this happened to a wig that i got from the my ic wig that it has happened to that one too they're kind of weak like one of mine's already kind of like tearing up and i don't like that like can we get some stronger material because i shouldn't only have this wig for two weeks and one of the adjustable straps is about to pop off or come un unraveled like that's kind of but whatever but when you go on their website this is their wig series their wig line so how to wash it it says step one detangle with a wide tooth comb step two shampoo with lukewarm clean water um use a small amount of sh shampoo and melt completely into the water soak the wig in it for three to five minutes do not rub it and then rinsing use lukewarm clean and water and rinse from roots to end do not rub rub it to avoid tangling conditioning same as step two but change shampoo into hair conditioner if dry or damaged use deep conditioner step five rinsing same as step three step six drying wrap the wig with a towel squeeze and press the water out put the wig on a wig stand and let it air dry nothing too crazy there i'm hoping that this wig lasts a long time we've seen me do many wig reviews the ic wig the last wig review i did on that ic hair that hair was actually pretty decent but after i bleached it it just like it's not the same anymore um which i knew that was a possibility when i went into it that it might not be the same no more after i bleach it so that wig is kind of i still wear it but i'll wear it like when i go to the pool and stuff and i just put a headband on with it because i don't really care about it anymore but this hair is really nice i really like this um and i love the way it holds a curl i've curled it with a flat iron i've curled it with the curling iron and it holds the curl all the same um if y'all want to see some of the ways i could part it i've tried to do the side part thing but frontals are hard so yeah i was gonna do a video of me laying the wig but y'all should have saw me here i was struggling 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 but as you can see this is what i mean by like not plucked like if i wanted to change the part i'm gonna have to pluck a whole new part and just the hairline in general is just not very plucked all of this is like stuff that i've done everything you see is like stuff i've done myself already like those little baby hairs i kind of lay those sometimes kind of don't um but yeah and so to glue this wig down i don't even use glue i just use got to be glue spray and it stays in place all the time and today it's not even glued down because literally right after this video i'm probably gonna take it off so yeah um i feel like it's a good wig if you're like about to go back to school and you don't know what to do with your hair. You don't even know if we're gonna be back in school, so you don't wanna book a hair appointment, or you don't wanna book a hair appointment because of coronavirus. I feel like this is an easy wig to get um, and wear and lay, and you know, it looks good. So yeah, I don't get a whole lot of frizz. It was really humid yesterday, so I was getting a little frizz, um, but I don't get a whole lot of frizz at all. I have this one wig from True Glory that I made. I don't know what I did to that wig, but that wig gets so frizzy. Like it's almost like it's almost like my real hair. Like it's almost like where my real hair is. Soon it'll be done, and then I walk outside and it's just like poof. But this hair is actually pretty decent. I shopped around a long time for this this particular wig, and I paid for this wig with my own money. Nobody is nobody told me to make this review. This was all me. I spent a long time looking for one um, and I am satisfied. And I probably honestly will order from Eunice again. I tried to order from another site. What site was it? I tried to order from Beauty Forever because I heard so many good things about Beauty Forever, but their website didn't charge me any like taxes on it. And they tried to text me and get me to pay them an extra $5 for the wig. And then my thing is, it's like if your website made the mistake, that's your website's fault. It's like you either get the money that I already paid you or you get nothing at all. I'm not going to give you an extra $5 for this wig. Tell me if I'm tripping. Honestly, I don't care though because either way I got my money back. Um, And then I bought this wig and their website works. And I got the wig quickly without a whole lot of the drama that I was having with Beauty Forever. So yeah, now I'll get a close up on the shine, the sheen, the lace. I'll wake up a little far back, but whatever. 
so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will definitely see you guys in the next video bye